Hey what's up guys Dhruval here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly create this high fashion vintage look in Photoshop. So let's get started. So as you guys can see my image is already open inside Photoshop and if you want to use the same image for practice the download link is in description. The image is from devintart.com so feel free to use it. So first of all, you can go to file and open any image you want. So this is my image and then uh, go to image and go to image size and reduce the image size because the original image is really, really high resolution and can put a lot of pressure on your PC. So I'm going to make it 2500. So first of all, go to this little icon here and create new adjustment layer for selective colors and the selective colors. Make sure that you have selected yellows and the yellows first value is minus 10. The second value is plus 22. And the third value is minus 55. Now then go to greens. In the greens, uh, put minus 100 here. And in the blacks, plus 22. Now go to blacks. And in the blacks, values are minus 1 in the yellows. And minus 17 in the blacks. So it, uh, in the blacks, uh, when you remove the, um, the colors, it will actually remove the contrast and make it even flatter. But we have, uh, we still have some contrast in these areas, uh, as you can see on her face. So it doesn't make the whole image flat, but removes contrast from the shadows. So it gives that a really flat, high fashion look. Then create another adjustment layer and select curves. So where is it? And in the curves, go to your blues and add a tiny bit of a blue. Uh, I'd say around 14. Uh, yes, that is the value I remember. So it will just add some of the blues, uh, but don't make it way too much because this image doesn't seem to be working really nice with the blues. So plus 14, 15 seems fine. Then it's about all personal taste. Then create another adjustment layer and select vibrance and make it all the way to 100%. And then uh, select your mask and press Ctrl I. So it will hide everything in the mask. Then select your brush tool and select any soft round brush and paint on her lips with white color. Make sure your foreground color is white and the hardness is 0%. And then paint only and only on her lips. So if I show you the mask, uh, it will look something like this. So we have painted only on her lips. So if I turn it on and off, you can see drastic difference. Now that is way too much. So I'm going to make my opacity 0% and then I will increase as much as I need. So I think 20, 25% seems fine. Since it's a little girl's image, very strong retouching will not be recommended. Now create another adjustment layer and select levels. Now we are going to add a slightly amount of contrast, but not way too much uh, since we removed a lot of in the selective colors. So we need to make up for that a little. So I think a bit of mid-tones and then a bit of highlights would be fine. Uh, don't look at the sliders while working, only and only focus on your image. Uh, do not worry about the numbers or anything, just it, it, it has to work for you and it has to look better. Number do not matter. Now create another adjustment layer and select curves. And in the curves in the RGB, uh, increase the slider a little bit from here so it will make overall image a bit flat and that seems to work really nice with us so that looks better you can also decrease a little bit opacity if you think that that is way too much so if you turn it on and off you can still see the difference so this is the benefit of using adjustment layers that you can still control it with opacity too then create another adjustment layer and select again curves and rgb create a shape something like s and don't worry about anything just focus on her eyes because that is the one we are going to change so make it as so it will give a lot of contrast in the image then select your mask and as previously press ctrl i so it will hide everything and with a soft round brush uh, paint only on her eyes like that and if you zoom out and turn it on and off you can see the crazy difference now make opacity is zero percent and then start increasing a uh, little bit little bit uh, as much as you need. So if you turn it on and off, uh, it makes a bit of a difference. So I'm gonna make opacity maybe 40% or maybe 36. So if you turn it on and off, uh, it gives that kind of a depth into the image. So that looks fine to me, 45% is really great. Now create another blank layer and fill in the black color. So my foreground color is black and I'm now I will press Alt Backspace. So it will fill in the black color. Now go to filter, render, where is it and select lens flare and in the lens flare I'm going to use 35, uh, sorry 105mm prime and put it into any corner here 
and the brightness seems fine to me according to the image hit ok uh, now go to filter blur and go to Gaussian blur and apply enough blur so that you do not have any kind of details and you have just this really round shape and hit ok now change the blending mode to the screen and you will have your flare here as you can see and now you can press ctrl T and make it uh, slightly bigger if you want and I'm gonna make it quite bigger and then move it around here so that looks fine to me so if you turn it on and off you can see the slight difference so it gives that kind of a haze now go to image adjustment and select hue saturation and first of all go to colorize and then increase the saturation slightly and then make your hue according to your image uh, whatever color matches to your taste and image so if I turn it on and off you can see that difference and then now uh, it looks fine and if you want to decrease the power of the layer you can decrease the opacity or if you want a really stronger effect you can just uh, duplicate this layer or you can press ctrl J to make it duplicate whatever seems fine to you so I'm gonna delete this one and this one looks really natural to me so let's see the original one and this is the edited one uh, so in couple of minutes you can create this really amazing high fashion vintage looks and people really love it so thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and hit that like button if you really did learn something so that I can know and you can also subscribe to my channel for the future updates and also check out this other tutorials by tutorials Junction. till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop